Welcome to the Mi 11 Lite tips and tricks video. Now this phone uses the Mi UI 12 and all the tips and tricks that I am going to show you. They work for all the other Mi UI powered devices, whether it's Poco, it's Redmi or it's Xiaomi. Before we go ahead, please make sure that you have hit the subscribe button. And if you find this video good enough, at some point do hit the like button as well. Okay, so first of all, let me show you how you can take a screenshot on your phone. You can either swipe the three fingers on the screen like this. If a page is scrollable, you will get the scroll option and you can take a scrolling screenshot on your phone or else you can just press the volume down and the power button like this and it will also capture a screenshot on your phone. This also reminds me of the screen recorder. You can just pull down the toggles menu, go to the second page and here you have the screen recorder. It will start recording a screen. But you can also access uh, the settings of the screen recorder of your phone to do that just go to the toggles once again and long press the screen recorder icon now you have the screen recordings here and if you click on the settings here you can change the resolution the video quality the orientation sound source frame rates in the same toggles we have some more useful options for example we have the dark mode you do know that this phone uses an AMOLED display so the dark mode on this phone is going to be really useful for the battery of your phone so I suggest using the dark mode whenever you can we also have the screen cast feature here if you want to cast the screen of your phone onto a compatible TV you can do so using this option given right here we have the me share feature you can share large files between two me phones on the go using the me share feature we have the floating window here for example I am using the Google Chrome browser on my phone and I want to use it in a floating window I can go to the toggles and click on the floating window you can see that the Chrome is now launched in the floating window menu now here we also have the nearby share feature the nearby share is similar to Mi Share but the Mi Share is more specific to the Xiaomi Mi and the Poco devices but the nearby share feature is uh, supporting all the Android devices so the purpose is same you can share large files but across all the Android devices if you want to remove or add some icons to the toggles right here you can just click on this edit button you can drag and drop these options from top to bottom or bottom to top to add or remove them now you can pretty much access the settings of any toggle by simply long pressing the toggles icon this works for all the toggles so you can long press anywhere on the home screen of your phone and go to the settings now here at the top you can see the transition effects these are the transition effects when you uh, swipe the pages on the screen of your Mi 11 Lite you can choose crossway terminal or page and click on done it will be saved go back to the home screen settings and here you have the home screen layout by default it is set to 4 into 6 but I suggest changing it to 5 into 6 we have the fill cells of the uninstalled applications any application that you uninstall on your phone it leaves an unfilled cell if you want that cell to fill automatically you can turn this option on and we have the lock home screen layout option if you want to lock the home screen layout and you don't want the icons to move here and there on the home screen you can just lock it in the more options at the top we have the home screen here you can choose whether you want to keep using the application drawer or you want to go ahead with the classic miui home screen menu i like using the application drawer and i keep it turned on and right here we have some settings for the application drawer for example we have the manage app categories for the application drawer you can create a custom category or remove one of the predefined categories we have the backgrounds for the application drawer you can choose dark background like background and you can also define its transparency you can make it a hundred percent transparent we also have the scroll bar option for the application drawer you can choose the original layout or you can just uh, use the A to Z layout. We have the place new apps on the home screen. If you want the newly installed applications to automatically appear on the home screen, you can turn this option on. In the home screen settings, we also have the system navigation options. Uh, you can choose the navigation gestures to uh, enjoy a more enhanced full screen mode on your phone. And if you don't like using the navigation gestures, you can use the buttons too. Uh, here we have the hide full screen indicator option it will hide the navigation indicator from the bottom we have the gesture confirmation and this is a little tutorial for all the gestures on the screen here we also have the icon size if you don't like the current size of the icons you can switch it to extra small we also have the arrange items in the recent applications panel how do you want the recent applications panel to look 
whether you want it to look like this or you want it to look like horizontal like this you can choose it according to your own liking we also have the show memory status here this will basically show us the ram status in the recent applications panel let me show you how it works you can see that we have the 3.3 gigs available out of 6 gigs on this phone this is how it works we can also blur the previews of applications in the recent applications panel by default it will blur the preview of the camera application but you can select pretty much any application from this list we have the show suggestions it shows the suggestions when you are in the recent applications panel and you can just keep using this option or turn it off you can see that the suggestions are gone from here and if i turn it on the suggestions are back here okay i would also like to show you how you can access the split screen window on your mi 11 lite just go to the recent applications panel long press any application and click on split window now select another application that you want to use in the split view let's say i want to use two chrome browsers in the split view or me share in the split view you can see that i have the chrome and the me share in the split view i can click on the home screen button and click on exit to go out of the split screen window it's time to take a look at the settings of this phone now in the settings uh, i would first of all like to take you through the always on display and lock screen we have all these inbuilt clock styles and the screens for the always on display now you can also create a custom always on display and you can also add your own image from the gallery of your phone you can select the text color the battery indicator the notifications and you can pretty much do anything that you want with the always on display of your phone now the always on display control is right here and here you can see that the always on display basically appears for 10 seconds after you tap the screen it means that the always on display will not stick on its own when you tap it like it does on the samsung smartphones so just in case you want to make the always on display stick to the screen all the time you will have to turn off the miui optimization on your mi 11 lite to do that you will go to the about phone section tap on the miui version for about 7 to 10 times it will enable the developer options on your phone now you will go to the additional settings go to the developer options go all the way down and turn off the miui optimization turning it off will keep the always on display on all the time but remember it is going to be really heavy on the battery of your phone it is not going to do any good to your phone the battery will drain faster and we have some more options here you can choose what happens when a notifications come on your phone whether you want to light up the screen you want to add a rhythm pulse or you want to add the star light here we have the raise to wake option when your phone is asleep and you pick it up it automatically wakes up if you have this option turned on we have the double tap to wake or turn off the screen i suggest turning this option on this is really useful to make your phone sleep or wake up we have the launch camera here you can double press the volume down button when the phone screen is locked to launch the camera on your phone next up we have the display settings in the display settings first of all take a look at the color scheme you can choose one of the default color schemes or you can even create your own color scheme by moving this icon here on this hue circle we have the refresh rate this phone has a refresh rate of 90 hertz if you want to save battery on your phone you can switch it to 60 hertz because in my opinion this phone has one of the most horrible battery consumptions so i suggest using it at 60 hertz whenever it's possible otherwise we have the text size here just as its name suggests you can resize the text on your phone you can go all the way to double extra small and you can all go all the way up to double extra large as well here we have the full screen mode if you want an application to forcefully use the full screen mode you can turn this on for all such applications here and vice versa next up we have the sound and vibration if you want to turn off specific sounds on your phone you can do so from here you can first of all change the haptic feedback behavior you can select the haptic level from right here and in the additional settings we have the dial pad tap sound screen locking sound screenshot sound and the delete sound as well if you want to change the sound effects on your phone we have the presets here smart music video and voice and when a headphone is connected you will you will be able to access all these options on your phone as well next up we have the notifications and control center first of all you can uh, select the applications that are accessing the lock screen notifications apps that are using the floating notifications and apps that are using the badges here we have the notification control for all the applications you can just 
control specific notifications or you can just turn off the entire notifications for all these applications. We have the control center right here. You can use the new replica iOS control center if you want. This is how it looks or you can just keep using the old classic MIUI control center on your phone. And then in the end, we have the status bar. You can show the notification icon in the status bar. The connection speed of the internet can be shown in the status bar of your phone. I do not have the internet connected, so let me just show you that. And you can show the carrier when the device is locked. You can see that we have the network speed right here. You can create a custom carrier name on your phone as well. The battery indicator, whether you want it to be inside the battery indicator or next to the battery indicator, you can hide the notch on your phone. If you don't like this punch hole popping up right here, you can just remove it. And you can also hide the punch hole inside specific applications on your Mi 11 Lite. Now, uh, next up, we have the password and security on this phone. In the password and security, I suggest turning on the face unlock along with the fingerprint scanner. So just in case your hands are busy, you can unlock the phone using the face unlock. And inside the privacy settings here, I suggest turning off the show passwords option so that the passwords do not remain briefly visible when you type them on your phone. Next up, we have the battery and performance. In the battery and performance, I suggest scheduling the power on and off on uh, a specific time at least once in a week. This is going to be useful to keep you, the things running smooth on your Mi 11 Lite. You can also turn on the ultra battery saver whenever your phone is running out of the battery and you want the phone to last longer. We have the apps here in the apps. I want to show you the dual applications. The dual applications feature will basically let you use two instances of one same application. For example, you have two SIM cards in your phone and you want to use two WhatsApp accounts. You can add a dual instance of WhatsApp. When you have WhatsApp installed on your phone, WhatsApp will appear right here under the recommended applications. And you can create a dual instance of pretty much any application on your phone. Right here, we have the native application lock of the Mi 11 Lite. If you don't want to use those third party app locks, make sure you use the inbuilt app lock and you can also sync it with your fingerprint scanner or your face ID unlock. Next up right here, we have the additional settings of the phone. In the additional settings, first of all, you can define the button shortcuts for certain tasks on your phone to launch the camera, taking a screenshot, turn off the screen, torch, close current app, and all these options are right here. We have the quick ball here. The quick ball appears on the screen like a joystick and you can access all these features using the quick ball. And the good thing is that you can also change all these shortcuts. You can actually define the entire behavior of the quick ball. We have the one handed mode here. You can define the size of the one handed mode and you can turn it on or off from here. Next up, we have the special features of this phone. First of all, we have the game turbo. The game turbo will basically give you a full control over your games. It also shows you an FPS meter on your phone. So you can launch any game on your phone and when you have launched a game, the game turbo will appear on the screen. Let me show you. Here it is. So it basically gives you the screen recorder, screenshot. It gives you the social media sharing options and it gives you this boost option. It will basically clear the cache of your phone and it will make the games run smoother. It also shows you the frame rate for all the compatible games. For example, for the games like PUBG Mobile and the COD Mobile. In the special features, we also have the video toolbox. This video toolbox will basically give you a screen recorder. It will give you a filter for the videos and also give you the option to capture a screenshot while you are playing a video on your phone. We have the second space feature here. The second space will basically give you another instance of your own phone inside your phone. So just in case you don't want to use the same uh, main menu of your phone for all the tasks and you want to create a second instance inside your phone with its own Play Store, its own browser, its own file manager, you can turn on the second space and it will stay protected with the help of your fingerprint scanner or any other password access that you will set up. We have the light mode here. The light mode will basically enlarge the icons, the text, and it will also reduce the visual clutter on your screen. So in case you are a fan of that neat and bigger look for the icons, you can turn on the light mode on your Mi 11 Lite. I would also like to show you the tips and tricks for the camera application when you launch the camera application. By default, it will capture the images in 16 megapixels mode. This phone has a 64 megapixels camera, but that works 
with the pixel binning mechanism which is why it has a 64 megapixels capture mode under the more options now in this screen if you click on this icon here you will go to the ultra wide camera of your phone and here we have the flash which is turned off and it should always remain turned off we have the hdr i suggest keeping it to auto we have the ai ai will add a color boost to your images so keep it turned on we have the filters here the beautify mode and the filters and both these modes work for the front camera as well we have the google lens here if you want to find something by taking its picture or using the camera of your phone here in these options first of all we have the frame 9 is to 16 is useful for insta stories the full screen mode can be used for instagram stories too but if you want to take images in proper resolution use the 3 is to 4 mode we have the timer here for up to 10 seconds we have the movie frame to add those black bars in your images or videos we have the grid lines to keep the frame balanced on your mi 11 light and the macro mode to take macro images the tilt shift to just focus on a specific area inside an image and the timed burst to capture a specific number of images un under a specific time interval right here we have the video mode of the phone in the video mode we have the super steady mode first of all to add immense stability to your videos and here we have the filters and the beautify mode for the videos once again and if i click on these options you can see that we have uh, these specific resolutions right here okay let me just turn the grid lines off and we have 4k at 30 frames per second 1080p at 60 frames per second and we have the movie frame for the videos too the grid lines the macro videos can be recorded on this phone and we can also track a moving object on the mi 11 light now towards the extreme left we have the pro mode of the phone first of all you can see the metering option here we can see the 64 megapixels option and we also have these filters right here if i click on this option right here we have the timer we have the frame the raw option should be always turned on because it's going to let you capture those raw images for good post processing we have the show grid lines focus speaking the exposure verification and the timed burst once again now this phone also has the pro video mode you can just tap on this icon to switch between the pro video and the pro photo mode right here right here we have the white balance the fo focus the shutter speed iso exposure verification and the lens option if i go into the more options first of all i would like to show you how you can modify these more options you can click on this icon right here and you can see that we have a new look for all these more options and if i go into the settings of these more options first of all you can choose the feature layout whether you want uh, to remove some of the icons from the camera tray or you want to add these icons to the camera tray of your phone you can just drag and drop the icons and they will start appearing in the camera tray of your phone let me show you you can see that the 64 megapixels mode is, is appearing right here similarly we have the camera modes how do you want to access the more options whether you want the more button or you want to swipe up to access the more panel you can choose one of these from here we have the color accents for the entire camera application you can choose one of these colors and then we have the sounds how do you want the phone to make the camera sounds you want the retro sounds spin sounds or the modern sounds you can choose one of these from right here <clears throat> okay so here we have the night mode the night mode this time works for the front camera as well which is a really nice addition we have the short video mode to capture a video of up to 15 seconds the panorama mode the inbuilt document scanner the vlog mode will basically uh, let you join small clips and it will let you create a vlog on the go you don't have to go through the hassle of those huge complex editing softwares which also works for the front camera of the phone it is another nice addition here we have the time lapse the dual video to use the front and the rear camera of the phone at the same time we have the clone mode if you want to clone yourself in an image or inside a video you can do so using the clone option we have the movie effects you can just create a magic zoom and we also have the long exposure shots you have all these options right here under the more settings let me quickly take you through the settings of the mi 11 lights camera application too uh, in the settings at the top you can see the watermark option you can add a custom watermark or use the device watermark you can see that you can create a custom watermark like this and that is all with the mi 11 light tips and tricks i hope you guys really liked this video if you like this video please hit the like button and if you loved it please hit the subscribe button also if you think that i have missed an important tip here that you guys have an idea of 
make sure to drop it in the comments below to help everyone else with that being said i will sign off and see you all in the next one